All right, guys, welcome back for the first video of this new widgets of the day series. Uh, it's not going to last uh, for infinity because we are going to lack widgets at some point, even though there are a lot of them. But uh, yeah, mostly we'll cover the most important uh, of the widgets that you will be using on your uh, daily basis. So with this first video, we're starting with the scaffold, as you can see. Uh, and uh, well, it's not really a, a visual widget. So I've here on the right side on the app uh, showed you kind of all the useful widgets that you might need in your development journeys. And we are actually going to jump right into the code. So as you can see, I've just have a very simple app running with a material app and a scaffold widget as the home screen. And basically, I'm going to go through some of the properties that you can modify into your scaffold in order to make it look good. So basically you can have access to the background color of the scaffold. And here you'd see that by default it's white, but if I save that, well up, the background color changes to a, a, a shade of blue. Another parameter that you can have access to on the scaffold is the app bar directly at the very top of your screen. So if you just implement the app bar widget on your scaffold, you'd see right here that you have now an app bar. We'll cover the app bar widget in detail in more uh, later videos. Another type of bar that you can have is the bottom navigation bar. I can't just have the bottom navigation bar widget sitting right there because it's actually gonna give me some exception. So if I uncomment all that code and I'm gonna walk you through it. So if I save that, you'd see at the bottom of the screen, we have a new bottom navigation bar. And so what the bottom navigation bar takes as parameter very quickly, because we'll go more in detail in a later video, it's gonna have its own video, but you can have a background color for it, a fixed color for uh, the, 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 the items that are selected an elevation, and most importantly, a list of items and this represents all of those little different screens that you will allow your user to to navigate to side note here on the bottom navigation bar this is coming from flutter and it's very useful and all but i'm actually gonna do in parallel another series which i'll call package of the day or something like this and i love to use not this bottom navigation bar in my uh in my apps but another package uh, which is actually very convenient uh, for navigation throughout your app and keeping the states and all this kind of stuff so bear uh, bear with me and don't forget to subscribe to uh, don't miss out on on this video uh, other two parameters that i thought might be relevant are the floating action button so if i uncomment that you'd see that on the bottom right of the screen i have a new floating action button that appeared uh, it's simply a floating action button widget and we'll cover those in a later video as well. And perhaps you can as well uh, uh, add an end drawer to your scaffold and you can as well add a drawer uh, to, your, uh, to your scaffold as well. So if I, I, I access those two parameters, you'd see that I actually have now two drawers on my scaffold, right, right uh, one at the beginning of the app bar and one at the end of the app bar makes sense with the names. So that's pretty much it for a scaffold. It's not much. I mean, obviously we're missing out on the body parameter, which is actually like the body of the app. So if I remove on our bottom navigation bar, the color, you'd see that we have right here, sorry, that we have right here our, um, our bar right there. Uh, and everything that is gonna be above that and under the app bar is called the body property of the scaffold. And so basically right here, you'd want to add, for instance, a container that we will uh, uh, deal with in later videos, but this container is gonna be under this uh, body parameter of our scaffold. So that's pretty much it for this first video. Scaffold, really straightforward. I'm using it all the time for all of my screens. Uh, it's very useful, very powerful. You'd see with all of those stock uh, widget that comes with Flutter, you can develop apps super fast. So yeah, pretty good. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next uh, video. Don't forget to subscribe, really helps out a lot. And uh, like the video if you, if you liked it. And as well, perhaps, uh, write in the comments uh, the widgets that you want me to cover or packages that you want me to cover as well. Uh, for now, have a great day and I see you guys in the next video. Bye.